this is part two. Yep, part, big part two, big part two. And by the sounds of it, you liked listening to Lost Hunter music yes. the first time. Yeah, I was thoroughly, I was thoroughly impressed with the last time. I'm, pre I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped to see what um, is going to be offered this time because um, there's quite a lot of variety. I feel like in the, in the first half, so I'm interested to see yeah. how it goes this time. We still have both of the world ones left, so I could see some S tiers coming out of this. Okay, okay. I could also see some more C tiers, maybe D tier, depending on how right. I feel. <laughs> I didn't open the we'll wheel. We'll see, shall we? That's what All right. I was missing. Okay, first one of the day. That's a long name. Soratorium. Soratorium. All right. Okay. This one is from Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Gotcha, um, okay. It's another one that's not really a village. It's... A, a ship? An airship? Yes, an airship used by the Y Academy to travel and survey different lands around the world. Okay. It's a noble cause, I suppose. Yes. It's basically just a little like research base on an airship. Gotcha. Okay. I'm interested to see to hear this one. Okay. Let's make sure you can hear it. Yep. Okay. That one, that was sort of a sort of banger, Bloodwind. Yeah. I really like that one. That one, uh, I, I, from what I remember last time, it was a lot of, like, chill ones, but this, this one was, like, this one was, like, the opposite. This one was, like, heroic sounding, almost like the <laughs> bells, and, like, the, uh, whole atmosphere was just, like, so, like, gracious. I think that was, if there was a way to put it, I guess. Yeah, it's such a unique one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it didn't necessarily con like I don't know I guess it's kind of hard to, to convey like I don't know like the other ones I feel like conveyed their environment better but I feel like this one definitely had I, this one had a lot of structure to it like I, you could tell like mm -hmm. when the song was just gonna loop back around like it had like almost like a finale to it. Um, yeah. Um, but that said, oh boy, there, uh, that's 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 a tough one. And I, I was thinking second to be. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's 
fair placement. It could. We'll see if it moves up or down. But that that, that was a really good one. I really like that one. Like had a lot. Of, yeah, a lot of structure. A lot of like very hope. Very like uplifting. <laughs> Chico Sands, the wheel didn't even spin like at all. But <laughs> Chico, yeah. I guess there's not many left. Now that I think about it. Chico Sands is one of the villages you travel to in the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate story. Actually, you don't travel to it, you shipwreck and end up here. It's, um, <laughs> is an isolated island, island located off the coast of the primal forest with a mild climate and rich vegetation. This secluded paradise rarely gets any visitors and is only inhabited by the Linian, which are the cat people. Cat people. In right, yeah, they're the hair thing in Monster Hunter, a big thing. All right, and an old Wyverian lady named Cat Granny, who serves as the mayor of the small community. It's a little cat paradise. Right. Okay. That's already tropical beach. Amazing. Yeah. Not <laughs> not the way I picture much cats, but I can dig it. We'll see if the music can back it up. No. Sorry, AFK Journey, the most interesting sounding game wow. of all time. I love AFK Journey. I love not playing, being <laughs> AFK, playing video game. Alright, here we go. That one's a short one. That was the oh one. wow! Okay, that one really reminded me of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Another one that really sent that off. Hmm. Um, yeah, that was a that was that was a cool one. Um, definitely just the yeah that, that we've gone back into the more chill ones. But oh um, yeah, that was so chill. Yeah, I feel like I could fall asleep to music like that <laughs> in a good way, obviously. Um. Yeah, I, it was just, like, very, like, serene, I guess, and, like, uh, I did like the instruments quite a bit, but, um, in the grand scheme of things, I'd probably put that, probably, mm, probably top of C, I think. Okay. Yeah, I, it's kind of short, I was expecting it to go on a bit more. Yeah, but, that's it, a little unfortunate. And it did sound a little re repetitious, like. It wasn't like yeah. a ton of variety, but you know, of course, still a good, still a good track. I definitely listen to quite often. I like that that track is just so chill. I mm -hmm. I used to have it as my Geo Trash menu music. Oh yeah, for yeah, a yeah, yeah, that because it was just be, chill. That'd be really good Geo Trash menu music. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all for a desert one. I think it sounded pretty unique as well. I think it was more supposed to be like a tropical beach. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, you could definitely see that. There wasn't any like harsh tones in it compared to like if you.
you were to portray something harsher like the desert. Yeah. Alright, let's see what's next. Okay. Arf. Finishing off Monster Hunter 4, this is uh, another one. Oh, okay. Travel to in, in Monster Hunter 4. Um, so, Hearth is a village inside of a volcano inhabited by a race of people known as Traverians. They're essentially dwarves. Okay. It says they're they're mole-like people, but they're dwarves. They're, they're just dwarves. Okay. <laughs> um, when you first... Okay, so so this this one has two themes, and when you first travel to Hearth, um, the people there, the Traverians, are depressed because right. there's monsters in the volcano that are a stopping the lava th lava flow through their village because they yep. they love to use that the lava to to forge. You go there right. specifically to make a boat. And later gotcha. to make your boat into an airship. Because they, they forge things. <laughs> Naturally. Right, right. Um, and so when you first get there, there, there's monsters blocking the lava flow and preventing them from going down to the cav caverns to mine for ore. And obviously you're the monster hunter, so yeah, that's your job to go hunt uh, those monsters. Right, right. So the, the first hearth theme is when you get there and they're all depressed. Okay, gotcha. So, <laughs> let's give me an expectation of what to expect here. Oh, another depressing act. <laughs> I fit the... <laughs> yeah, setting the mood a little bit more. Except for, I'm sure this is more serious than the, the dwarves. <laughs> True. Okay. some of those instruments but we can see here i can hear the other one before i make my final yeah. impression and so now this is this is after you've went and hunt the monsters and the lava flow has returned to hearth and, and now the dwarves are fired up okay okay
Nice, that was great. I love that. That was, yeah, that's a really good one. Like, man, I it was the same um, compliment I had in the first song. The instruments were amazing. Like, mm. combination of all of them just formed something awesome there. And um, there are certain parts that I just, just just nod my head to the whole time. Like that was really <laughs> great. I feel like just it's like a conglomerate of all these different sounds, but they meet together to create just the perfect energy for um like yeah like miners or like people who are like ready to get back to business you know like you described and i think that does a good job describing that hmm. yeah i'd say that's definitely an a tier uh um where it's a real question don't forget there's um Oh, I don't even remember where. I think here, there's, there's one that's Great. not on Gladio, Glados or whatever? Gladios? Elgato. <laughs> Galgato, fuck. I was thinking of Portal. Um, <laughs> we'll go... We'll go second in A for now. Ah. Uh, I'll have to re-listen to that first one in A. You think so? Uh, eventually. I don't remember... I don't really remember that one too well. Some of the pictures I have are like a general idea. I'll have to watch. I'll have to watch the, the video blood one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Make, yeah. make sure you comment then if there's any changes. <laughs> good. Like, Great. Yeah. But that, that's a, that's a really good one. That um. Yeah. I really like that one. The pizzicato strings. I I play violin. Ah. The, the pizzicato string melody. <laughs> Dude, I love that so much. <laughs> Good. All right. I think the first three themes we just did were all fifth gen, and that, that that's all fifth or uh, fourth gen. Sorry. Right. Fourth gen okay. okay. Damn. So we're on to the older stuff, or like the rest of the rest of them. Or... So there's some newer, some older. There's still some bangers left too. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Good to right. hear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is this this is personal favorite? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay. So this is from Monster Hunter World, Celiana. It's a it's a snowy wintry village. Um is the headquarters yeah, what introduced in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Yeah, sorry, it, it's the DLC village, Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Mm. Okay. I feel like we haven't heard too many snow ones. Yeah, there are a couple, but we haven't really got them. So this is this is a Monster Hunter World one, so it's got a little walkthrough. Okay. And it also has a day and a night theme, so. Oh, damn, okay. You'll be able to take in the visuals as well as the nice good the good I like I love, I love those ones all right
to our lips. That was fantastic. That was really well done. Don't forget there's still a night theme. Holy crap. Okay. We do the night theme. We just might as well do it. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Nice. I like the first one more, but the first one was <coughs> like almost emo it was like really it's kind of emotional at the beginning, like the really like mm -hmm. somber I forgot I don't even remember what instrument it was, but very somber, very calm. I really like that one. I that one was Man, it really came together too. Like throughout the whole thing. And I was just like, damn. Like And all the different melodies and everything and Oh man, it was it was awesome. And that's definitely the first S tier, 100%. That one, I oh, love man. when music sounds like emotional or like kind of has that element to it. Cause man, it just makes the rest of the it just makes it so much better in my opinion. Obviously, not every song can be like that, but that one was that was a really good one. Yeah, a lot of people use um that song in um, like background YouTube video songs. oh yeah a hundred percent I can see that it's so good I'm not as big of a fan of world as I am like the older games right world is where they really started to change things up but man, the music always is phenomenal in the games mm-hmm yeah I feel like when a game series has like, uh, there's a specific game series that no matter what uh, people might think of the games, the music is still, like, solid. Because it, at its core, it's, you know, still reflects the series as a whole, not just necessarily what the game is about. Mm -hmm. Man, that was a good one. Alright, five left. Woo! Final five. Here we go. Pokey. Pokey Village? Pokey Village. This like is a... Forest. Uh... Huh? I was gonna say like a... Or maybe? Sorry, you gotta... Oh, I was gonna say maybe like a forested vill... Forest... Forested village? I can't talk. <laughs> um, kind of. This is uh, an older one. Right. It's from uh, Monster Hunter Freedom 2. 
which is uh, second gen. Gotcha. Pokey Village is a small agricultural village in the Furahia Mountains, near the Snowy Mountains. It is the main village of Monster Hunter Freedom 2 and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, which are fan favorite games. Okay. Get some pictures here. This is the pretty. this is the other snowy village. Okay, okay, back to back. Oh boy. Oh okay. <laughs> Thanks, Norton. Now I don't want to click on the other pictures. Can I click this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a mountaintop, snowy farm village. It's kind of wooded, I guess. There's there's pine trees. Gotcha. Um, this is has the original theme, and this was one of the villages you revisited in Monster Hunter Generations. So it does have gotcha. a remake. All right. Here we go. Sorry, actually, we got <laughs> what? You <Yeah>. sly? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really need to get YouTube Premium. I I listen to music off of YouTube as well. And yeah, I seriously, I don't want to buy it, but it's like I use YouTube enough to warrant the price. Yeah. So it's it's hard. All right. Flute go hard. The the percussion chorus. and the flute. Yeah, the chorus is that. It's nice. It's iconic too. Okay, and then there is a, a remake for Monster Hunter Generations. Gotcha.
You're so right about the percussion. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, that's another dude. The snow ones goes. The snow ones go hard. What I the know. heck? They need to do more <laughs> snow villages. Yeah, the remake was really good too. I'd say the remake just really exemplified it a bit more. God damn. I oh man, I don't wanna. I like yeah, the, the just everything. Everything was fantastic. It had that emotion to it like the other one did. Um, mm. and um. Man, yeah, I, I, that's, that's either top of A or bottom of S. We'll put bottom of S for now. Because that, man, yeah. Again, that was a chill one, but I really, really like that one a little more than some of the energetic ones, which I'm more, I feel like I'm more biased to. So that was, that was a nice surprise. Nice. <laughs> no, no, that, that was, yeah, banger. People love that. Hmm. Mm. For a lot of people who are fans of the series, it's like their childhood yeah. village slash game. Because that, oh, Monster Hunter Freedom 2 and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite probably came out 2007, Jeez. around that time. Right. So yeah, yeah, I can imagine. I can only imagine with the nostalgia how good that song is. All right. Four left. Alright. Dundorma. Dundorma. Very interesting one. Alright. This came out, or this village was originally in Monster Hunter Dos, and then it actually came back in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Why does this, why does this <laughs> site keep doing this? No, I don't That's think, I don't... a good question, isn't it? This is a wiki. <laughs> Why is it doing that? <laughs> that worries me. Okay. I don't sure. have. I, don't I have... think it's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Dundorma, uh, located in the Shrade region, Dundorma lies east of Mineguard Town, which is okay. First things first, Mineguard Town. There's a town that's not included on this list. It's the only official, like, Monster Hunter town that it didn't include because it's more of a gathering hall. Because it was originally... It was the original gathering hall for, like, Monster Hunter 1. Right, okay. Gathering halls are a different um, thing than the villages. Okay, gotcha. Just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, part of the town is in ruins from repeated attacks by elder dragons and other monsters. Despite its state of dilapidation, the guild is attempting to reconstruct the town and has re-forfeited it with stuff. Um, so, Dundorma is like the base of operations, headquarters of the guild, which are like the people dedicated to making sure humanity doesn't die out from the ridiculous monsters in the world. Right. Um, and it's a kind of bustling city. People are there for, like, a job. Okay. And it's like a castle. It's constantly under attack because it's in a very dangerous region. Right, okay. So there's always people... You know, it's busy. Trying to for... take it over. It's under attack from monsters. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so, okay. Monster. There isn't really. This makes sense. I think in lore, there, there's just too much chaos from from uh, natural world stuff to really warrant like factions of people going against each other. Oh. Uh... It's more so just war on nature. Right, yeah. Um, okay. And Monster Hunter Dose has a uh, day and night theme for it. Alright. And uh, Monster Hunter 4 does not. So, here's the Monster Hunter Dose version.
Nice. Okay. Good start. Good start. Good start. That, that, that one's already very went, that energetic. Went yeah, that one pretty hard. I think that also really shows the sort of uh, busy nature of the city and the medievalness. M the medieval fantasy like direction they were going mm -hmm. with the original Monster Hunter and Monster Hunter Dose. Right. Yeah. Okay, um, I don't know if we'll listen to all the night theme, because uh, with the, uh, just like the Dos Kokodo night theme, it's sort of just the same thing without percussion. Oh, okay, but I see. We'll, we'll listen to the beginning. Okay. And the, the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate version is the one I know because I put my. I have maybe just a few hours in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. It definitely like it was a great remix. It definitely like changed the vibe for me a little bit. Like 
I definitely had that, like you said before, like that fantasy kind of sci-fi vibe. But man, like I've like hard to describe it. The uh, I, I wasn't sure if it was just like the quality of the music, but it sounded more it, fine in general. Could be. It, yeah, it was at a later date, like uh, 2014, instead of like 2006. Wow, they did a good job for 2006. <laughs> yeah, I like the, the whatever string instrument that was. Um, the guitar or the or the the violin? I think the violin. Um, it came in there in the background. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was there was like a small solo near the end there, or like in the halfway end ish. Yeah, I think that was a violin. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I think it went. I think it went together really well as well. Um, but still, like being able to be chill and like definitely like definitely a solid track. I'd probably put that track thing probably below the um, the one next to the lava one, the mountain one. Okay. Stop. Uh, yeah, there, there. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it definitely had a really good rhythm to it. Another one where like just they introduce a lot of instruments and it just works out really well. Yeah. They have a a knack for just kind of filling it with everything they can. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And still making it sound so rhythmic. It's they have a lot of variety, but it's still good. Like it's still. Oh refined. yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. It's so refined. Like it, they know what they're doing. <laughs> All right, final three. Yep. There's one of these I hope we get now because because two of these are some heavy hitters. But okay. Final three, here we go. Alrighty. Oh boy. Stara? That's a cool name. Yeah, Stara. Stara is the main village of Monster Hunter World. Ooh, okay. It's got a really cool vibe to it. Gotcha. <laughs> it's... So the story of Monster Hunter World, you are like the first, not the first, but you're basically studying, exploring the new world, which is just, you know, a newly discovered continent. And uh, the Asera is the uh, research base, I guess, the hub of all the, the people coming to the new world. And uh, as you can see, it's... It's got a very interesting architecture. Yeah, it. it's very crammed in there. Holy crap. They're like built out of the ships they used <laughs> to sail here. Right. It's... I really like it, to be honest. The aesthetic. No, yeah, I can, I can see that. It's... Yeah, that looks very sci-fi, which is pretty cool. Fantasy sci-fi, I should say. Hmm. Okay, and then these are this is Monster Hunter World, so we got the walkthrough uh, videos. Gotcha. Perfect. Um. Yeah. Here we go.
All right. <laughs> That was great. That's like the sa that's like the song I imagine they played when they were like announcing the game or something. They were making for the game trailer. We got those kind of vibes. Hmm. Yeah, really, really good. Really, really energetic. Yeah, I think this is one of the most energetic ones. <laughs> and then the night theme. that one I nice, yeah, similar kind of vibes to the day theme like really energetic really like I feel like it contextualizes the big big crazy city pretty well um, again it just had some parts of it that were just like they removed a lot of the different sounds and it was just uh, just like a couple instruments and then right back to the main melody which i really liked the, the nice mm. variety and the kind of rhythm they were producing which i really liked i'd say that's probably top of a i'd say i really enjoyed that right. one that one was really really solid not quite to the emotional level I and mean, in like insanity that was the snow ones but mm. definitely definitely a keeper Okay, hey, final two. All right, what's what's gonna be? I hope it's gonna be Black Black City because that sounds pretty dope. But we'll see. We'll see what the wheel says. Nope. Ah, <sighs> Jumbo. Oh well, Jumbo City. Jumbo City might be pretty cool too. <laughs> All right, Jumbo Village was the main village for Monster Hunter Dose. Um, it is a port village located near a jungle i don't know a lot about um jumbo village because oh. <laughs> monster hunter dose was actually a japanese only release oh really was it yeah that's interesting i feel like that doesn't happen with a lot of games these days but i could um, be wrong not nowadays but quite a few monster hunter um games were actually Japanese only at first. Huh. Thing. Huh. 
This is um those pictures I don't I feel like don't do it justice. <laughs> no. I guess this is like the best just, Oh well, uh, not, not bad. It looks like a cool place. Yeah. This one has three themes, a day and night, and then a, a level two. Ooh, okay. I don't okay. know what that We'll find out together, man. Means. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Jumbo Village theme from Monster Hunter Dose. And Monster Hunter Dose, I think, released in 2006. Okay. okay. Oh, man. Yeah. A while ago. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Another ad. Every Another time I get an ad, it just it just adds to the... <laughs> throws it. I need just... to get premium. <laughs> I need to get premium. Throws it off course. Yeah, yeah. Monster Hunter 2, 2006. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I totally got the vibes it was displaying there. A little, a little, a little village, kind of chill, kind of doing some tribal stuff. I don't know. Yeah. All right, we can see if we can hear the other ones. Oh yeah, another Monster Hunter Two Dose Night theme. Gotcha. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we will. This too. Yes, we will. Thank you. 
Oh, God, it's so chill. Yeah, the bells came out of now. The bells were a welcome addition. I didn't even see that coming. Yeah. They just popped up. I was like, whoa, I didn't expect that. I don't think I had ever listened to that one. No, that is really, it is really chill. I would listen to that to like study or something. Yeah. When it when it did that like little kick with the guitar, I was really hoping it was gonna like bring in a little bit of percussion, a little bit of a beat. Yeah, that it was, was so nice. it was it was basic in terms of that. Yeah, I was I was kind of expecting more instruments to come in too, or like more of like uh just more whenever it come in. But no, yeah, it was. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Hmm. Okay, and then the uh, level two. I don't know what this like why the village levels up <laughs> but <laughs> me neither to be honest but I guess, uh, yeah, I'll take it as it is let's see what this entails <laughs> There's your percussion, Happy man. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. It. We've gotten it. <laughs> Just like that. I thought that that really came together, dude. The, the percussion mm. made me, made it, oh, so much better. Like, it had so much life to it. Like, maybe leveling up definitely has something to do with the infrastructure getting better or, like, something going well. Because, wow, that really yeah. kicked it up on that one, man. Yeah. That kind of, um, that makes me regret not listening all the way through the other night themes from DOS, because it might have been more than I thought. Yeah. No, yeah, that, that, that made a huge difference there. Holy hell. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. I was like, I was gonna, I was gonna write that off until uh, that night one. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely in 
low A, I would say. We can put it bottom of A for now. Okay. 100%. That definitely kicked it up. I'm impressed. Very catchy. One of the catchiest ones. Yeah. The, um, upright bass in the background. I don't know if you caught that. That was so good. <laughs> that, I also like the bulb. Like that noise that would happen oh, yeah. throughout the whole song. Yeah. That was in every single version. Something percussive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Really great. I right, like. and final one then. Black City. <laughs> yeah, Black Black City. Whoa. All right. Lock Lack. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Lock Lack City. Okay, so Lock Lack City is another desert one, I think. Okay. It is the online city for Monster Hunter 3, which was my mm -hmm. first um, Monster Hunter game, but I didn't ever go to Lock Lake City. Frankly, oh, I didn't know it existed. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I got far enough in the game. Oh, okay. To, Interesting. To be able to go to Lock Lake City. Um, it is a bustling trade city located on the borders of the Great Desert. It is renowned. Is a it is a renowned hotspot among hunters. Legend has it that. The giant spire like sculpture at the center of the city was carved is a carved tusk from the Elder Dragon Elder Dragon Gen Moran, which often approaches the city and threatens its citizens. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that the legend is probably correct. I don't know. <laughs> If I was a betting man. But yeah. It's a desert hub city. All right. And I do think it only has one theme, which is fine. Sure. All right, here we go. This one starts off really good. That was one of the catchiest songs I've listened to on the Monster Hunter series. Wow, that was great. I very much enjoyed that one. <laughs> there are some really good ones in this batch. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I definitely think I definitely like that one more than the last one. Probably, probably like fourth last in A. I would say it had a fantastic melody, but um, I feel like it was missing some things that the other ones had, like that energy, that emotion. That but that one was yeah. That slapped <laughs> i it would listen did. to that all the time <laughs> that was one you would describe as a banger yeah 100 percent. and there are so many above that one as well that's what's mm -hmm. so funny no i think monster hunter has fantastic music they again i said it before but they know what they're they know what they're doing when it comes to that music man holy yeah. hell had you listened to that one before? Um, not really, actually. Yeah, no, that's that was good. That was good. But no, that was that was awesome. Thanks for taking me on a tour, bud. And yeah, I'd love to do the uh, boss music sometimes. Sometime like. I'm happy to hear. I am. Yeah, because I really like intense music, like from video games. I feel like that gets my gets me going, right? And like, I love the chill music too, but. The battle music can go pretty hard as well, so I'd be very down for that at some point. Awesome. Um, there is one problem I would say with doing the battle music, and that is you might have to rate them more harshly because you might just put them all in S tier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be relative. I mean, <laughs> I'll see how well I can do on that. <laughs> I'm hoping to get some. Uh, some people excited for this. We'll see though with the release of the the videos for the village themes. Mm -hmm. Right. right. <laughs> 